This instructional video will guide you through a tip seal replacement. We begin by disassembling the inlet flange. Remove the two M5 screws from the intake assembly. Pull the assembly from the top of the pump. Remove and discard the O-ring from the underside of the intake fitting. A new O-ring comes with a tip seal replacement kit. After the inlet assembly has been taken off, remove the three M5 screws that attach the cowling to the module. Pull the cowling off and set it aside. Next, remove the six M6 screws holding the outboard housing to the frame. Gently pull the outboard housing from the frame and set it aside. Remove the O-ring from the inner housing and discard it. A replacement O-ring is contained in the kit. Extract the tip seals from the outboard housing. You can use a Q-tip or small pry instrument to pop the tip seal out. Remove both tip seal sections. Detach the inboard housing from the frame by removing the four M6 screws. Set the pump up on end and carefully lift off the inboard housing. Set the housing down fan side up. Remove the M8 screw and washer that attach the fan assembly to the crankshaft and then pull the fan assembly and counterweight from the shaft. Be careful not to lose the key from the crankshaft. Set the key aside. Turn the inboard housing over and lightly push the shaft on the table to remove the orbiting plate from the housing. Remove all the tip seal sections from the inboard housing and both sides of the orbiting plate. Once all the tip seals have been extracted, the plate and housings can now be cleaned. The easiest way to clean the plates is by using Kim wipes. A small handheld chisel may be used to loosen any attached debris from the channel surfaces. After cleaning with the chisel and Kim wipes, compressed air can be used to blow out remaining dust and debris. The last step in cleaning is to wipe down the surfaces with isopropyl alcohol and then dry them with Kim wipes. With the cleaning done, we are now ready to install the new tip seals. Carefully remove the masking tape from the tip seal sections in the kit. It is important to remove all of the tape. Start inserting the tip seal in the inboard housing with the orbiting side up. You can work from the inside out or from the outside in. As you install the tip seals, guide the material into the grooves with a thumb and forefinger and follow up with your other thumb to set the tip seal in the groove. The tip seal should stay in place. When you get to the end of the groove, cut the tip seal, leaving a quarter inch gap for thermal expansion. Follow the same procedure to install the tip seal in the inboard housing. Carefully reinstall the orbiting plate on the inner housing, sliding the crankshaft in place. Maintaining the housing in a vertical position will help ensure the tip seals stay in place. Gently rotate the orbiting plate to verify it is in full contact with the inner housing. Reinstall the fan assembly, making sure to place the key back in the slot on the crankshaft. Slide the counterweight and fan back on the shaft and then replace the washer and M8 screw and tighten. Verify that the rubber spider is on the motor coupling. Align the fingers on the fan assembly with the fingers on the coupling and set the inboard assembly in place. Ensure that the dowel pins fit properly on the mating holes in the frame. Install the four M6 screws attaching the inboard assembly to the frame. Set the pump upright and tighten the screws. Set the pump back on end and install the tip seal on the outer face of the orbiting plate. 
Use the same procedure that you did for the rest of the tip seals. Remember to leave a quarter inch gap for thermal expansion. Once the tip seals are in place, locate the needle bearings on the outside of the orbiting plate. Using the Crytox lubricant that was provided in the kit, squeeze a small amount into each bearing. Locate the large o-ring in the replacement kit and lightly grease it with Crytox. Reinstall the large o-ring on the inboard housing. Install the tip seals in the outboard housing using the same procedure as before, remembering to leave a quarter inch gap at the end. With the tip seal installed, the next step is to install the outboard housing onto the inboard housing. Orient all sink cranks and the orbiting plate in the downward position. Install the outboard housing over the orbiting plate and against the inboard housing, engaging the dowel pins and all sink cranks. It may be necessary to gently move the outboard housing side to side while pushing it in. Secure the outboard housing with the six M6 screws. Tighten the screws in a diagonal pattern. Reinstall the cowling over the pump module, tightening the three M5 screws. Install the new small O-ring from the kit on the intake fitting. Lightly grease the o-ring before installing. Place the assembly over the intake hole in the outboard housing. Slide the intake clamp around the intake fitting and secure it with two M5 screws. Once the tip seal replacement is complete, the pump should be tested for normal operation. Plug the pump in and hold your hand over the inlet, making sure you are not wearing a glove. Make contact with the inlet flange with your palm. If the pump is working correctly, your hand will be drawn to the inlet. Once this is verified, the pump may be unplugged and is now ready for reinstallation on your system.